Hello, welcome everyone to Spiritus Matinum. We are currently studying the book A Full Life by the Spirit Joana de Angelis through Divaldo Pereira Franco. And we are in chapter 10, so I'm going to share my screen with you. And as always, we are going to start reading and commenting on the lesson today. So the lesson is chapter 10. And uh, Soraya, could you read for us? Of course, absolutely. Yeah, let me see if you can, can you... Okay, that's good. Right. Okay. Apply yourself and move forward. The thorn that hurts is placed in the area it must protect. Though it is often cursed by someone who got pricked by it, it remains in the same spot. The same applies to human existence. Beautiful roses convey harmony and offer a pleasant scent right next to those sharp thorns stuck under branches that support them. There will always be obstacles between us and our evolutionary conquest, hindering the march of those who are neither authentic nor loyal in their human relationships. There will be no lack of hardships and challenges on the path you tread if, if you remain faithful to your goal. Likewise, there are individuals who are unable to compete with you in the realm of the good, envy your success and turn into thorns, challenging your loyalty to the ideal you are pursuing. They accuse you of having done this or that, which incidentally is characteristics of them, and throw stones to hurt you, trying to diminish your worth to cause you to quit giving them justification to confirm their weaknesses. Any effort in the construction of the good and the sowing of the truth in the lives of other elites reactions that are equivalent to the quality and the result of the effort employed by you. Okay. The frivolous, okay. Uh, well, I, I think the title is very important for, for us to you know, to, to think about a little bit, to apply yourself and move forward. Uh, the main message is no matter what, just keep going. Uh, and keep going forward in a figurative way of saying, you know, uh, towards the right di direction is not just you know to move about but moving in the direction of our ideal in the direction of what we think is the right direction uh, but she's saying and why she's coming with this title as well apply yourself and move forward because then she brings to us the realization that even when we are talking about a beautiful example in nature that it is a rose, right? Uh, that gives us the perfume and, and so many other things that can be med med uh, uh, a healing for, for us as, as well. It becomes a perfume and uh, is so beautiful and, and, and brings us joy. It, 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 it carries horns. So there is no way that we are going to be going through life without um, uh, facing the challenges, the obstacles that represent uh, where we are today. Um, again, considering that we are in a world of trials and expiations and atonements, uh, of course, the world that we belong to is not a perfect world. So even if we are on a perfect balance, doing everything good, even our family members, they are on their best uh, version, uh, version ever, what, what is around us is not. So it's going to affect us anyway. 
and and unfortunately this is not situation the situation we haven't got then there yet right we are still not that good but we are trying so we are much more vulnerable to whatever is happening and one of the things that she says here is that unfortunately we are going to find people also to meet people that um will not uh, um, be happy with our advancements, with our successes. Uh, why? Because they, you know, there are people that uh, simply they don't want others to seem to be better than themselves. Even if sometimes it seems that they do not agree with our goals, somehow deep inside they know they are on the that we are on the right right track. And if we continue in this path, we are going to, you know, overshadow them. So they will try to do whatever they can to maintain their position. It's not necessarily that they do not want only us to advance, but they don't want to lose their position. If someone gets better, you know, I lose my place. So this is what happened, and, uh, and 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 she's telling us there is no way, unfortunately, for us to go in this path of the construction of the good, like she says here, the sowing of the truth, without uh, finding obstacles in our ways. Any comments or questions? Yes, Sonia. In last week, I was so excited because mm -hmm. I'm going to start a new book, then more responsibility. I'm scared a little bit, but it's fine. Then, and then something happened, someone like a door, door in my life. I start fighting with me and then Monday I wake up like so disappointed with myself then how can I not be able to stop this person and leave how to do this with me why I was not be quiet and, and just pray or something like this and then I realized, no, this is, I, I can't, I can't be in this state of life. Then this is just to disappoint me and make me uh, feel like, oh, I'm not able to do this new shutter in my life maybe and then now reading this i totally understand how it works in our life it's very good that you brought this situation sonia uh, because i think it's a, a perfect example for us to to you know to think about what about what juana de angel is 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 talking to us here today I remember I moved to this country over 28 years ago. And uh, as a spiritist, of course, I, I, I wanted to continue spiritism. But since I, I, I was first in England and, uh, and then I, I realized that we, we really needed to start disseminating spiritism in English. Uh, when I came here, I was already completely... Uh, sure that that was the path to do it but there it was very difficult to do it so um, we had to start very very small and and, and anyway we started but but uh, you know as you can imagine you all can imagine I uh, I and all the others that were with me we got so much criticism 
uh, in each and every every form, you know, like you know, even like we we wanted to show that we were better than others because we we could speak English and, and which is you know it's still <laughs> so hard, so difficult. We never lose the accent, and and there was so many people, unfortunately, that came trying to make me give up of the the you know of of the dream and saying but listen you you don't even speak english that well or you your accent or there are not books or there are not <laughs> or this or that and uh, there are so many uh, other people that are better than you that you sh you should give the places to them like like if i were taking anyone's place and to tell you the truth I don't know where these people are today, 28 years later, you know. The, yeah, there were people that were much more equipped than me that could have been doing the job, but they, they didn't for whatever reason. So, you know, here we are, <laughs> 28 something years later, right? And and I think that this, and what was always in my heart, and I'm sure that it's in your heart as well, it is the desire to serve Jesus. I said, well, I know I'm not perfect. I know I'm that well equipped in the sense of, you know, dominating the language, especially at that point, right? Uh, we grow, we learn more throughout the time, but uh, um, I'm not, I may not be the best option, but I'm an option and I'm going to start doing it. And uh, and I'm so happy that I didn't give up because um, others that were supposed to step up didn't. So hmm. maybe we wouldn't be where we are today if that was not the case. And so I think, you know, in terms of starting the, the, the work, you know, and have uh, and have this attitude of I'm not going to be looking at, uh, you know, uh, what is missing in me, but what I can provide. And I can provide that. It's not going to be perfect. So what? We are not perfect. All, you know, we are all trying to do the best that we can. So that was my attitude. And I'm so happy to see this attitude as well, because, you know, this is one more uh, study group that we will have in the Spiritist Group of New York, right? And, um, and I think it's great because this is the way we have to do it. That's like as she says here, apply yourself. We keep on finding excuses, but the others are telling us, oh, but you don't know that much or you have not been prepared for so long. Uh, last week, I heard something that um, really stuck in my mind. And from now on, I'm going to be repeating a lot, which was um, uh, from a person that I, I respect very much and it's very knowledgeable. And he was telling me about someone that said, oh, but you know, I just uh, became a spiritist when I moved it from Brazil. So I don't know spiritist for, for quite some time. And so I, I've been trying to do the best that I can, but I'm not that experienced. And then he said, listen, you may have not known spiritism that well, you know, in Brazil, where we know that we have all this, it's much more expanded than in the rest of the world and, and, and thousands of spiritist groups and etc. But you were already taking lessons on spiritism before reincarnating. Hmm. The thing is, we all were taking lessons on spiritism before we reincarnated. Because if we are here today, it's because we were there yesterday. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, we even the Brazilians, many of the Brazilians actually only came to know spiritism when they moved from Brazil. Or 
it's very <laughs> tough uh, having the knowledge that spiritism exists because there there is, is you know every almost everyone knows about it but engage or or, or start attending a, a spiritual center or something like that and, and there must be a reason for that one of the reasons i think even for us to arrive here not with uh, the habits uh, that a particular spiritual center may have there because we have to start from a different in a different pattern so to say but that's really stuck in my mind you know and i said well from now on everyone that comes to me and say i just know spiritual for two years i said really i would say really do you really think that this is the case i think that is a, a time that we are going to be flourishing and the proper time when we have the proper situation in life uh, i mean when i say proper i'm not saying perfect okay because if you are waiting for the perfect moment you never do anything I'm saying proper situation, like, uh, you know, there are times that uh, we are more required at home, we can give up to so much. And then there are times that we are going to be more liberated, then we can give it more. So this is the situation. So I, I, I think it's yeah. so fantastic. And I'm so proud of this new work. And I think that this is the way to do it. This is the uh, the practice of what you want to do, Angelis, is telling us in this, in this chapter. Yes, Marcel, go ahead. Uh, I, I want to say something related to what Sonia was talking. Uh, when the first time I, I need to, to do a talk about spiritism in Brazil, I was so scared and thinking the same that she was thinking. And uh, who am I to, to talk about Jesus? Who am I? You know, I'm... I'm I am the my thorn. <laughs> I'm I myself putting like this, and I I start doing my my pray, and I listen to something like this. You're not doing for for you. It's like vanish, you know. I, I, I vanity vanity. I was. It's not for you. You are doing not for you because I was um, scared uh, if I I will do something really good, but it's not about me. It's about Jesus. It's about my intention. So I heard like this, oh, go there and do your best and shut up, <laughs> you know, because it's not about you. And so this uh, and stuck it like uh, just started to, uh, in my mind. So when I start something, I need to, to think this is about me or it's about my intention. It's about Jesus. So it's about Jesus. So go on, do your best. I uh, stood, you know, and I, I feel like I was being uh, proud. I was being, oh, I could be embarrassed. But maybe I don't remember the, the talk. Maybe I don't, I won't be good enough. But it's not the case. The case that I'm not doing for me is something bigger. It is helping me to do uh, the talk. Hope I help you. Okay, that's exactly the spirit, and you touch at a very important, um, uh, 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 very important uh, situation. You know, um, the first thing to conquer is our vanity, because uh, and, and unfortunately, I know I know a lot of people that could have been doing a very good job, but because they have this barrier of you know um maybe not knowing enough or maybe or, or maybe knowing but not being able to express themselves because they they don't know how to express themselves very well not because of the language but others is going to be because of the language and so they will stop distributing the, even if it's, it's it's little the little that they could give and this is what she's she's saying here, you know, if we allow ourselves to be, uh, um, you know, uh, distracted by that, and, and remember that here, sometimes, uh, you know, we, we may be talking about physical people, right, people that are, are uh, incarnates now, so we can see it clearly, but we are talking about spirits as well, that we'll be sending to our 
uh, thoughts that, that, that this kind of you know uh idea that we are not worthy that we we don't know enough that we are going to make a mess of it and and and, and, and sometimes as well being too ambitious you know just by by go, being having a group putting a group together just just reading together and just saying like you know almost like a book club uh, what did you understand from that why well, you know oh. Do you have any uh, examples of that that perhaps is you heard about it or so it it, it keeps sim simple, but move forward, apply yourself to move forward. <laughs> you know, Rosada, I was just thinking on a much smaller scale, of course. You know, when the day that we have to go uh, work at the center. Mm -hmm. Isn't that interesting how many things happen? You know, like you forget this, you get late, you get stuck somewhere, you are lazy, you're like, oh my God, do I really want to go? You know, I, it, you have a headache. It's amazing how we allow ourselves, right, to feel this influence that is out there. Mm -hmm. And uh, and if we don't, if we don't, uh, you know, use our strength, we will give up, right? Because... It's just so much easier to say, okay, well, you know, it's going to be next week. Of course, it's not like you opening, you know, a whole study that's much bigger, of course. But, you know, every time you try, I mean, I, I remember feeling that on Mondays, like, oh, my God, you know, like, but I have to go. I have to go. And, you know, it is just like she said, we have to tune out, right? Otherwise, we will not succeed. Yes, absolutely. And, and, and I mean, in this case... It's sometimes it's even pretty obvious, right? Because it's going to happen on the day that you have to go. But when we are talking about other uh, initiatives, uh, it, it, it's not a specific day. It's just something that is start growing in your mind, right? And you do not even realize that it doesn't come necessarily from fear because sometimes we may say, oh, it's because, you know, um, uh, even knowing our limitations, but but we should never let be guided just by our limitations, you know. We all have limitations and we all are uh, overcoming them, but just uh, if we apply ourselves and move forward. Because if we don't do that, we will never do it. I mean, not never because, <laughs> but the, the never for the present time, you know, uh, because uh, I will keep finding excuses. But sometimes we may think that it, oh, I mean, it's maybe because uh, we try to justify even with uh, our, you know, lack of, uh, of some things. But the thing is, we may very well be, influenced by by negative spirits who do not want us to succeed All right okay so let's read a little more so that can you continue yes. The yes of course the frivolous poor in ethical merits but rich in presumption are always on the watch child tower to find a speck of sawdust in their brother's eyes while paying no attention to the plank in theirs Although telling truth that could be helpful, their real desire is to block the work on the behalf of the good. The antipathy they feel consciously, the hatred that characterizes their inferiority to spill over. They detest the servants of the gospel precisely because they are in, incapable of following it and thus undermine with ridicule those who can. They prefer the hostility in which they delight to the internal effort of becoming spiritually stronger. They are like vessels adrift in turbulent waters. While you tread the safe and noble path, you will be confronted by obstacles in the form of cruel thorns in a sequence of failed attempts to stop your march, to infringe upon your de dedication, to prevent you from conquering the terrain for the greater common good. Many times they come as friends to gather information that they will later transform into a fiery wild one of accusations and animosity. Strangers, arrogant and with airs of superiority, who never did anything to help society in any way, will elect obstacles and make serious accusations because they resent and envy your loyalty. 
incapable of doing anything on behalf of others. They work only on what enhances their personality and brings them prestige. And you see here, they are just going to be victorious if we allow them. Yeah. Uh, if we are humble and we know of our limitations, if they come and say, oh, do you know that you do not know how to pronounce this word or, you know, your accent or this and that, I, I'm aware of that. And I'm not going to let that be in the way, yeah. you know, of me spreading the word. Uh, and uh, so like they say, as one of the Angelis says here, they will be looking for that, you know, to to hurt in our prides, to, uh, but, but at the end of the day, it's just because they are envious, because they, they, they understand that they do, they, they, they can't do that themselves yet, because one day everyone will, but they can't do that yet. And so uh, it's like you know I, I don't I don't want to see people shining I don't want to see people uh, doing something that deep in my mind because we all know deep in our minds that we this is the direction this is the way but while so many people is not going through the way I can justify my accommodation to the way I am. Uh, I don't need to change, but if uh, people around me start changing, um, I will feel a pressure, and I don't want that pressure. I don't want things to change, and, and you see, uh, we see in other uh, situations of life, you know, people do not want to change, you know, like when we started having this uh, you know, wonderful machines that would help us in the in our domestic chores, right? Uh, and no, oh, but uh, you have to wash your hands by your your or your clothes by hand because they smell better. It's going to be better wash it or this or that. You know, all the things that represent progress. And that so many people is still criticize because. Uh, uh, they 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 have some prejudice uh, against uh, against things and and so uh, this is what she's trying to to tell us: be ready. Mm -hmm. And because people can be very cruel mm -hmm. uh, when they want to destroy any kind of work of goodness. Wilmer said. I was remember, I was reading again this Andrea Luis book, one of them, and I was remember the, uh, how can I say, medium? It's a medium. She She's a good medium. She was doing good work, but uh, she has a little bit jealous about he, uh, her husband. And she uh, slept and go in a bad dream bad dream because the spirits uh aproveitaram um advantage 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 ab about uh this process that she you know when we are are, do, are going well but you um you feel something that you it is like open this opportunity for the bad spirits so they start to say stop doing this in your house not good this kind of spirit is not good i am your uh your spirit guard don't do this anymore and she was she opened it for this so i learned with this like we need to pay attention when we are you know we need to watch our thoughts so it's not just stud to do our best, start these projects, for example. I need to stud, the first thing, and I need to be watch my thoughts because a lot of them is not ours. They they uh, take advantage about something that we are, you know, um, in doubt or something that we, because we are humans. So I think we need to watch our thoughts to not uh, kind of some armadilla. How can I say this? Yes, you become a prey, right? It, it, it's very important what you're saying. I, I remember this well. This uh, I, I don't remember from which book it is, but uh, the woman that was jealous and uh, and then yes. 
took took her, you know, uh, knew about her weakness and it started influencing her in her dreams, making her believe uh, believe that the the husband was really uh, betraying her. And uh, and say, you know, what is the purpose of going to the center and be all good and this or that? The center is not helping you. Uh, and it's it, this is very, very subtle, you know, although she may be living that just in a dream, it starts uh, taking over your mind, your thoughts and your emotions and, and and it's the same the same thing with people you know i always tell people uh especially the workers and people that are closest to the work that we do like you know pay attention if all of a sudden you do not start developing some um uh ill feelings towards someone like, oh, you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm tired of the way Jusara talks or she, all the time she always is saying that like she's preaching or, you know, uh, trying to dictate. what. The, you know, when those things come to your mind, uh, you have really to think if it's you or if it's already something or uh, uh, I, I came to the meeting today, she didn't even say hello or um, uh, yeah. I made a comment, uh, she kind of ignored me you know uh uh and one against the other and i don't know if i feel group feel feel well in this group anymore or uh, you know it, it it's very 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 subtle for so many different reasons and um um uh, but one of them really the one that they really like to do is that you know a distancing thing, the people one from another, uh, in, in this sense of provoking a certain an antipathy mm -hmm. towards the other person. And then it's one versus two, two versus three, three versus one, and then and and when we see the the whole garden is compromised. Yeah. Did you read this book? Uh, Aconteceu na casa espírita. Yeah, I did. I did. I mean, that that is exactly uh, this. Yes, exactly. Yeah. It, 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 and unfortunately, regardless of how much and, and how many times we repeat over and over, like you just said, we have really to pay attention. Even in our personal lives, if you are not going to compromise, uh, but at the, uh, the rest of the group, but at the end uh, it did, right? Because if she leaves, uh, she's going to compromise the work anyway. But it's, it, uh, uh, but it keep on, keeps on happening because, you know, it's very subtle. It's very subtle when you realize you're, you went too far and, uh, and, and then it's, it's hard to, to to take the way back you know uh sometimes only another another incarnation yes yeah, it's, so it's why yesterday when i realized could be happening like this then yesterday i took the the best online at 7 p.m. I participate and because I realized I need help. Mm -hmm. The immediate help that I have today is to be part of this meeting online. Mm -hmm. And after this, I, I was so calm and then I, I can see more clearly all the situation. This then thank you to have things yeah. Uh, all meetings, all classes, and then so important to have these yeah. passes online at Monday, 7 p.m. Thank mm -hmm. you. Yeah. Help me a lot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that, 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 that this work that Sonia is mentioning and that the work that we have on Mondays that we, yes. we read a passage uh, currently from the book Living in Spring. There is a comment and then there is a, 
a prayer, a meditation, where we are going to invite the, the, the spirits to, to, to come and help us and, and, and in our needs. And we are, um, you know, we have opened that for people who uh, cannot join us so that they can follow uh, the study, the comments, the, the meditation, the prayer. And of course, benefit from from the spirits that definitely will be working with us. Yeah, it's a blessing. <laughs> so let's read a little more, and uh, we will not, I guess, finish today because there is. Uh, 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 a, Laura is asking about the book that I talk. I talk it. Do you know? Uh, she she wrote a message here. Oh, I, I didn't see, sorry. I, I don't know which book, if you could uh, find out, Marcella. I, I don't uh -huh. remember. I did. Probably is, but I don't remember which one. I don't the name know. in Portuguese is Aconteceu na Casa Espírita, but I didn't uh, find it in, in English. Uh, I, think, I think we do have it. I think we do have it in the center. It, it happened. The book is. Uh, it happened in the Spiritist Center. Uh, I'm sure we have that. I, I can look after Laura. Uh, I, I, I at least in the. I think we have only in in book format. We don't have. Um, is there a title in English for it? it it it, it 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 happened or it has happened in a spiritual center okay I'll, 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 after we finish the class we I'll, I'll i'll talk to you about it we will talk about it okay um okay so right let's read uh, this okay part. okay do not concern yourself with them they only have time for self-defense and counteracts, or as groundless as they themselves are. An old fable tells the story of Antricles, a former Roman consul slave who fell to the forest. There he came upon a wounded lion whose paw had been pierced by a painful thorn. The fugitive slave removed the thorn and nursed the lion back to health. Later, when Antiochus was sent to die in the Roman arena, the same lion recognized him and his life was saved. Although similar acts are often repeated, gratitude and solidarity are still not the norm for many individuals. For now and still for some time to come, that is how it will be. The fierce struggle will take place within the very groups whose members should be helping one another, offering humankind sure guidelines upon which to base its behavior, anchored in the solidarity between all people in a climate of inner enlightenment and peace, basic element for health, happiness. The animal nature and the unbridled passions will prevail in human being to the detriment of its spiritual nature. The primitive passions, lust, and other modern forms of vice are very extra -pervaded nowadays, appearing as ways to conquer emotional plenitude. Continue to fulfill your duties unperturbed, never wasting any energy in pointless arguments. Let your silence exam example and productive work demonstrate your worth. Proceed in peace, for victory brings glory to the servant only after he or she has overcome the challenges. Okay. Sorry that the phone... Uh, rings and the, the phone is off but it rings on the computer so I don't know how to <laughs> remove that when it happened um, so I, 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 we, we see this story that she brings right uh, about uh, the goodness that we do and, um, and and how much we can even find uh, in terms of result and gratitude. Uh, and here she talks about an animal, right? An animal that was uh, assisted by this slave that later was condemned to to the Roman arena and was saved by the same lion. How incredible it is, this, this is in terms of you thinking 
of, about a gratitude and recognition of an animal. And sometimes us human beings, people that have helped us so much, we we will be the ones them, you know, uh, attacking attacking them later on. This is one thing that the spirit of truth, when communicating through a medium, to talk to Kardec, said that he would be finding opposition and betrayal among those that he that uh, were actually. Uh, uh, at that time, his followers and, and close collaborators, and, and it happened. So this is how sometimes, you know, our nature, unfortunately, because we we become blinded by jealousy, envy, and uh, the, it hurts our pride to see other people getting more attention and uh, all of that, how hard it is for us to read ourselves from those primitive passions. But like she says here, we have to continue to fulfill our duties and perturb it, never wasting any, any energy in pointless arguments. And, and it's hard because you see, since we are all vulnerable to the attacks that come from, you know, so many people, spirits, places, um, it's it's hard. It's hard to 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 keep on track. It's not easy, uh, you know. For for all of you that have uh, watched the, the this uh, uh, series that we have, the chosen, for instance. Uh, I mean, look how much persecution they had. Not only Jesus, but all the ones that were following Jesus. Everything that they had to endure. And, and sometimes we think, where did they find the energy to do that? Uh, the faith. But somehow we are doing this ourselves. And we cannot allow ourselves to be distracted by what is not good and productive. And it comes a lot. Uh, it comes a lot. Uh, and uh, sometimes, uh, you know, people come to me, oh, what are we going to do about it? I, say, I always say, you know what, keep up doing the good work. Because right. this is the only thing that can eliminate the bad that is being spread. And this is what we saw that Chico Xavier's did, that, that uh, Divaldo Franco did, and so many others. They were, were all uh, recipients of so much criticism and 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 is and uh, and all, all all you can imagine thing that would just uh, lead any any of us mortals to say I give up I'm I'm not going to be doing this anymore but you know they 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 are our role models and those uh, and, and 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 so many others that we have in history that uh continued regardless of the criticism i i i just uh last week was was remembering uh there is this movie uh, that is called the letters of mother Teresa. i don't know if you watch it that it's very good and, and you see uh her call her desire to help the poor was so great and she was there in the cloister and the nuns couldn't couldn't understand her and it started working against her and um, and trying to prevent her from doing good as much as they could. They say, she, she, they would say to her, if you keep giving the, our food to the poor, we are going to starve and being very selfish in a way. And, and, and she had to face so much adversity. And then she would go to the poor to give the, the, the food but because they were not Catholics and Hindus, but Hindus, they would be very suspicious that she was only doing that because she wants us them to convert. And, and so, I mean, she, she was being criticized by the Catholics, by the Hindus, by the nuns, by the poor, but she just kept doing, she just kept saying, you know, there are people starving and I, I can do something, I'm going to do something, I'm going to help them. And we all, all know what happened next, right? And, and how 
venerable this woman, you know, noble this woman is uh, an example to be followed, right? So this is what she uh, she's saying. Don't waste your energy. Be silent because people like that is they are not going they they do not they are not going to to reason with you and um just say oh, no or don't say anything don't say anything just look and don't i know i know it's hard uh sometimes i mean not only we do that on our own defense but in defense of others I'm one like that. Sometimes I want to go and fight for others. <laughs> and then I, I, oh my God, I have to start also to learn to keep quiet. There is only so much we can do. Time will tell. Time will judge us. And if our intentions are pure, we have nothing to fear. So, like she says here, proceeding peace for victory brings glory to the servant only after he or she has overcome the challenges. Overcome the challenges in this case, meaning we do not lose track of what we know uh, we have to do. It is the right path for us to go so uh we can still comment but i'm going to stop here because then we can continue next week i don't want to to rush this lesson it's uh, such a beautiful lesson and so many beautiful examples that she she brings after to uh enlighten us and it's uh, it's really very very special mm -hmm. any other comment or questions that you have I just remembered, uh, Josara, the Joana de Angelis saying, telling to Givaldo, don't wait uh, by uh, applause. When the, he wrote the first book of her, mm -hmm. uh, Waste Criticize. So the, the rose is like in blo blo bleeding, bleeding in the roses. Did you remember this part of the movie of Givaldo? Yes. Don't don't wait. Um, don't think you will, will be applauded. You know, no. wait for criticize. Yes, yes, no, no, uh, absolutely not. And uh, it, and it, it it's only because of that that uh, people like like him and us we keep going because. Uh, uh, we know that the terrain is still a difficult terrain for us to to track. 